It's new planner setup time. I am going to be setting up my brand new Erin Condren monthly planner in this video. Got lots of goodies here. I have my old planner standing by. It's gonna be awesome. Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm on a journey to uncomplicate my life with functional planning and imperfect home management. If you're like me and you just need a gentle reminder to keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Anticipate this is going to be kind of a long video so buckle up grab a drink grab your planner and let's get set up together this is the Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner this is um, the inspire design so you can see here this is like the theme of the planner and it's a July start. And then in the back here, I'm not gonna do any of the monthly setups. Um, that will be a separate video. And then um, I just have my 40 lined notes pages added here. And then of course we've got the stickers here. Mine was like an oops. Um, and this sheet didn't get coiled in. It just, I think it wasn't lined up whenever they put it through the little coil spinny machine thingy. And so it didn't get coiled in, but that is perfectly fine for me um, because I usually pull these out anyways. So not a big deal. Now let me kind of show you how my current planner is working. It's already super chunky, although this one is only six months worth of chunk. So I have a lot of snap-in items in here that is really bulking it up, and that's really all that is. And then I just have a bunch of stickers and such back here as well. So, you know, there, that's why it's super bulky, but I mean, it's just, it's, she's a chunk, but I leave, I leave it open on my um, desk. And so it doesn't matter to me that it doesn't like close all the way. So like when it's open, it's not a big deal, right? Okay. So I am going to show you now what I brought over here to work with as far as supplies goes. Um, I just have my sticker book here. This is the Inspire sticker book. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to use this much, but I wanted to bring it just in case, um, I do like these washi stickers. And so maybe for a notes page or something, I don't know. I just, I didn't want to not have it with me. Um, I, I don't plan in the room where I keep all my planning supplies. I'm kind of like in a transition phase right now where I'm working on a room to plan and film in so that I can have everything together. But right now it's just not ready. Um, this is just a snap-in dashboard that I had kept in my other planner that just kind of holds a bunch of sticky notes that I like to use. And so I have that. I have my week number stickers and I actually have a bunch of these all over the place. These are full page sticker sheets from Planner Kate. I have a year in pixels. I have a books to read and a movies to watch. These are definitely gonna be on notes pages in the back. What else do I have? These are just the five star stickers. This is the Erin Condren Multicolored Square Sticker Pack. I grabbed these to use on my year at a glance, so I'll probably use these, and I probably won't use the wildflowers here. And then I have this pack of stuff I've just kind of been collecting while I was waiting for my planner. I'll go through that in a second. This is an old, um, one of the old clear like zipper pockets that's on a coil clip, super old. And um, I just brought it because I might, I don't know, maybe I want it. And then I have my redating strips that I made on my Cricut print and cut. This is something that I do because I like the white and I want to change all of my monthlies to Monday start. And Erin Condren is only available on Sunday start on the month. So um, I change that and I do it all at once so that it's ready for the whole year. I'm going to do, maybe I'll do July with you and then um, I'll do the rest off camera because that's going to take forever. I'm going to just like turn on a show and just sit there and watch and redate my planner that way. Oh, and this, I forgot this. So this is just like a bag of stuff I've been like collecting parts in and I kind of made like a little checklist of things that I wanted. I have a name vinyl here. Let me just put all this down. I have the, um, these are the wildflowers and these are the inspire and I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to snap in there. So I just grabbed both. Um, this is an old from an old snap in 
sticky notes thing. Um, I had finished it and this is like the old format of that. I grabbed this because I was thinking that I might use it for the, what did I have here? I might use it to hold the sticky notes that I keep in my planner. I don't know, I just grabbed it. I could also just use the back of this. So, you know, there's options. I have the Inspire Snap-In Universal um, Snap-In Dashboard. I actually really wanna get better about trying to use these maybe for weekly planning. I don't know. Um, you know I already like draw out my weekly plan on one page and so I was kind of thinking like that's the whole point of these. So I don't know. I could make more of an effort to try to utilize this. It's a really awesome concept. They have so many different choices as far as layouts and just designs. And I think I want to try to use that. I did bring this ruler over because this is the one of the longer ones. Um, the monthly planners don't come with a ruler. These come with life planners. And this is the old one that was sized for the seven by nine, but after they came out with the A5 planners, they started making a shorter ruler that would fit on all of them. And this is the one that I've been using. Um, but like you can see here, I always draw out my weekly and um, I guess that is long enough. I was just thinking maybe I wanted the longer one so you can see the difference here. That um, maybe I wanted to keep the longer one on my planner. So I grabbed one of the, the older ones from my stash. Just, um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably just use the longer one because why not? And what else do I have here? I have this um, yearly tracker thing that I got from Planner Kate, and I usually don't use them. <laughs> I have good intentions to use them, but I don't ever like remember to go back and actually do it. So here's one that it's, you know, we're, we're towards the end of June and I haven't touched it since March, but that's where I put it before to cover up the beginning of the year. Um, because this planner started in January, I didn't need like the last six months of 2022 in there. So I covered it up with this sticker. But now in this, this one, um, we're starting here and I might actually want this um, forward planning. So in the previous one, it was like those dates had already passed and it didn't matter. So I was covering it up, but now all of these are like relevant to, you know, the future. So I don't know. Um, I was again thinking I could put it on here, but then the other thing was I purchased this and it's in like the inspired it's funny, it's inspired by Inspire. Um, it's in that design that Planner Kate has, but then after I purchased this, Planner Kate came out with one that was more like canvas inspired with the asterisks, and I think I like that one better, so I may not even use this here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna order the other one. Um, more week number stickers, which I have tons of those everywhere, so. Yeah, um, and then these are just some months and I have another one of these little like uh, adhesive pockets and I'm pr really honestly probably just gonna move this one over. More week number stickers in here as well. Um, and then the name, there's two. Oh, I have these reusable like post-it tabs on this planner. I was using it for like my Formula One cheat sheet so that I could get to it quickly and not have to flip through all my notes pages. So I think I'm gonna do that with my notes pages. I'm gonna tab them all. I don't know, we'll see if I like that or not. And I have these vinyls that I cut a while back. Um, I was gonna cut a new one, but then I found these in my stash and I was like, let me just use what I have. And you can see here what I do. Um, where is the name page in here? <laughs> I have this one. I was gonna cut another one just like this because I love it so much, but then I saw these and I thought, I'll just use the one I already made, so. Um, and then in this planner, we have stuff that I'm gonna need to move over as well, and there's a lot. <laughs> I have this um, that I cut out of an old daily duo, and I'm thinking I wanna cover this. I have this snap-in dash pocket dashboard 
Um, actually, I'm, I'm still using it. We're not quite through with June yet, so I'm gonna leave this in here for now. But I am gonna take this out because this is our school calendar that I wanna add to the new planner. Um, and then that's gonna take forever to put back in, so let's just leave it. Um, you can see here, this is kind of how I set up my um, current planner. And this was new. I wasn't really using this for goals before. I never really used this 12 boxes page. I did use it and I did flip back to it occasionally whenever I was doing goal stuff, but I just, I don't know, it didn't do anything for me. So I want to kind of think of a new way to use that. And, and then you can see there, I never did use that. And what else do I have back here? I mentioned that already. I do have my, my perpetual planner back here that has, yeah, this has all the birthdays and things on it. So I'm gonna pull that out so I can use that maybe for my year at a glance. This is stuff that's no longer relevant. It was from the previous school year. This is a four by six, um, what is this called, like a, a photo sleeve, and it was punched for a different kind of like ring system, and I just covered the punched holes with this washi, and it fits like these envelopes that I have. They're just like note card envelopes. It fits that perfectly, and I like to keep my coupons in here. And I'm gonna take these out as well and put them in the new planner. Let's get this out now. And what else do I have back here? Let's take this dashboard out because it has a bunch of like cheat sheets on it. And this is like a cheat sheet. This is a wish list I had started. Let's take that out. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, and then the very last thing is I need to move all of my sticky notes from each week over so that whenever I sit down to plan, all of the stuff that I knew ahead of time goes into this planner because that's how I set up every month with a sticky note so that I can start writing, you know? So anyhow. All of that needs to be moved over too. So you can see we've got a lot of work cut out for us, but so let's just kind of like get started. And I'm gonna go ahead with this. And I didn't bring over the little tool that I normally would use for this. So we're just gonna use this ruler. We just wanna make sure that the vinyl sticks to that carrier sheet, like the clear sheet that goes on top. Just get it on there and especially the little dot, the I in my name has that little dot and that one always likes to stay stuck to the paper. Okay, here we go. Now this one looks like I've already used it and then peeled it off, so this might not end up sticking. It's got some paper stuck to it. I don't know, we'll try it out. And does that look, I think that looks straight. All right, that's good enough for me. Let's get it on there. Okay. I must have tried to put this down and then didn't like it or it wasn't straight and then when I pulled it up, it ripped the paper. Okay, it works fine, all right. Yeah, I like it. And I'm just gonna keep this carrier sheet and put it over this so that I can use it again. It's not quite long enough, but it'll do the job. So name is in and what else do I have? So let me put this on the back. There's just some pictures and stuff in here. Um, and this just gets moved every time I change my cover anyways, so it's no big deal. These are all of my like, I've got some like cheat sheets and I've got all of these sticky notes. I need like a dashboard that that can hold them all. I was putting them on my covers, but then I would have to move all of those every time I change my cover every month. And so I started putting them on this, but this really bulks up the planner. So I'm really kind of trying to consolidate. So let me put this back in the back where it goes. I do also will use this other pocket for like receipts and things um, that I'm still working with. 
um, whenever I clean out my purse, if there's receipts I don't want to get rid of yet, I will just tuck them into here. Okay, so that's back there. And I think I actually had that before the pocket previously. I don't know, we'll see if I end up keeping it there or not. And then we've got the summer bucket list. And this is gonna go, I think I'm gonna use this. I don't know. I put, do I wanna put it at the front? And then I can use this as my thing here. Actually, I wanna keep this available for sliding things in. So I don't actually wanna put something on the front here and I want it to be changeable. So I'm gonna not, I'm still gonna kind of think about that. Um, this stuff, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is transfer all of this info to a note sheet or even just put these on a note sheet. And then that way it's back there and I can tab it. I might even just leave it on the plain notes page. So what I'm thinking of doing here is using this as like a table of contents because it's just the tab sheet. So when I open it, I'm always gonna open it like this way and then that way it'll be open to a table of contents and then I might number the rest of these. Um, I don't know because that's, I also wanted to tab it. So anyway, I think this is what we'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and use these two pages back here as like a sticky note, like cheat sheet dashboard. This is gonna become a notes page. This is like my recurring bills and payments cheat sheet and I actually need to update it anyway. Um, Cricut Print and Cut and this one, I actually use quite a bit. And I'm really, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these here for now and then see what really needs to be transferred to a notes page. This one, I think I am gonna put like no trash days on my year at a glance. So let's just stick that there for now. And then these are just extra sticky notes that I use during the months. Sometimes some things occur like three times in a month and so I'll have an extra sticky note for those. And then I just have some other ones that don't occur every single month. But I'm gonna put them on here for now. And there's only one of these left. I need to just use that on something. And then I have a few of these left. They can go on there and then I'm gonna just clean this off and not use that. This is gonna just wait for a minute. All right, so this is the tabbed page that I had with the school calendar on it. And this is what I'm trying to decide if I wanna do. Previously, I had printed off my son's school calendar for the year. It's on removable sticker paper. This calendar is out of date now and I wanted to see what would happen if I pulled it off of here. And if I could just put this one over top and keep using this. This was from an old mid-century circles daily duo. And so the one side had the 12 boxes page on it. Oh no, it didn't. It had the the like six months at a glance from that book of the Daily Duo. And I thought I loved the mid-century circles design and it had a tab on it and the page was like not just paper, it's like the cardstock. And so I don't keep all, of my, I don't keep my old planners. As soon as they're done, I will take them apart and salvage what I want out of them. I always keep like the pocket folder. I like to keep, keep the monthly tab pages because I like the designs and the quotes on them. And um, you know, that kind of stuff. Any empty notes pages that I can repurpose, I keep those. So this page, I ended up thinking, I'm gonna put the school calendar on there. I'm gonna print it out on sticker paper and just put it on there and it worked and I used it quite a bit. Um, and so now I just kinda wanted to see if this was gonna come off of here. And it's kinda giving me a hard time but it's not too bad. Like if you go slow, you can kinda peel and it's not leaving a residue or anything. 
Um, this is removable sticker paper, but it being like a full sheet is just kind of difficult. <laughs> so this isn't too bad. All right. So now the question is, do I want to put this sticker over here like this? And it's, I still just have like the sticker that says school on it on the tab. And then I would put, I would have to cover this. This was um, when I was subbing, this was just kind of like that. Um, I might just, maybe, maybe I can glue a, note, a piece of note paper on here. I don't know, let's see. Let's see if this is even gonna pop in here still and like if this is still got like the integrity it needs to stay stuck in my planner. Um, let's put it like here. Let's see. It is paper, you know, so it might not wanna stick another year. Um, can I use like this? I'm keeping an eye on my battery. I know that I'm not gonna have enough battery left in my camera to film this whole video and I'm gonna have to take a break. So, um, yeah. All right. I mean, I think this can still work. I think this still works. Oh, you know what I could do? Remember I said that I didn't have a space for like this? And I'm not gonna put this one on there because I did say I want the new one with the asterisks, but I think this, this is gonna fit perfect here. And then I have space here and then I can actually put the school calendar here to cover up this old calendar. You know, so like that on one side and then I'll move the school sticker to that side of the tab. Oh, but look, this isn't staying. I don't know, this might not work out. I don't know, maybe I just didn't have it in there all the way. I mean, it's turning fine. Yeah, I think I just didn't have it in there all the way. So the school calendar on this side, and then the, the, the yearly thing here to keep track of like yearly tasks. And then, then it'll be up here with all the stuff that I need to re reference when I'm planning out the month. Like, all the annual stuff and it makes sense to have it there. And then I could even do, hmm, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna do it right this second. Um, I'm not gonna do this one, obviously, because I'm gonna buy a different one. And then this one, I can, I'll just go ahead and do this one now just to show you. Is there anything, see, this stuff might need to get covered with whiteout where I highlighted it. All right, what's the worst that can happen? I have to reprint this. I mean, big deal. Okay. So lining it up with the bottom and then I'm just pulling. And you can see a little bit of what's printed on that page behind this. And it's not the best, but for me that doesn't bother me, but just know that if you're very particular about that, like you can kind of see some show through maybe, you know? Um, if, you're, if you're very particular about that, then you'll just want to be mindful of what you might need to white out on the page below it. Okay, so that is the school calendar and let's see if I can't just reuse this little sticker that says school on it. For this, um, tab here to cover where it says 2023. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I was going to keep this in this thing. I think when I first found, when I first got these, I was thinking I was going to do the school calendar and the formula one calendar. Um, but these do add a lot of bulk, you know? And so for something that was like permanent, I wanted to just go ahead and use like the paper. And then this I can keep open for things that are gonna change. Like the summer, when the summer's over, I'm not gonna need this list anymore. You know what I mean? And then I can put a different list in there. 
So yeah, so then that is how I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna put that little half sheet annual tracker from Planner Kate here, and then probably some sticky notes for reminders or something here, and so that I'm not actually writing on the page. Um, just like a place to keep. Here, let's do this. Let's do, I have these ones that say monthly cleaning that I printed out. I wanna try to start using these again. I designed these and printed them myself and it's just like the recurring cleaning task. And then let's do, um, I have my to buy list, which I don't need a bunch of. And then my YouTube queue, which I'm not really using anymore. I have a different system for that. So really that's all that's there. And then I can put, I'll just put some of the to buy ones. Um, and then they can go there. So yeah, so here, as a reminder, this is gonna go there and then I can write down for the month which cleaning things so that I can keep track of it that way. I don't know, we're gonna see if I use that. <laughs> and then here I will just put um, another script or something that says, I don't know, whatever it says. <laughs> Um, whatever I decide to track there. Okay, so that, and then now we have the year at a glance, so let's do that. I wanna track school holidays, days we don't have trash, um, birthdays, which is in my perpetual calendar. What I was doing before is I had a lot of, um, a lot of different stuff on here, but I found that it was like too much. And so I'm going to, oh, Formula One. No, I'm not gonna track Formula One on here because I have other ways to track that now. I'm not gonna do paydays. I'm not gonna do medical appointments. Can I write this down so I don't forget? Do I have a sticky note somewhere? I have sticky notes everywhere. What am I talking about? Pen. So on this page, I wanna do Travel, no school, celebrations, and um, like no trash. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to redate one of these months and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera when my battery is needing to be charged. That way I can kind of like show you when I'm done. So I just made these, I kind of measured it out and did my own thing with my Cricut. And this is just, I just line it up. I like the white and so that it's not, um, it doesn't, I don't like using the ones from like sticker shops cause they're always colorful and I know I can ask, I could probably ask for a custom one that's all white, but last year when I wanted it, I didn't wanna wait. So I made them myself and I still have the file, so I don't need to buy that now. But let me tell you, if I were to like lose that file or do this all over again, if I could go back in time, I would definitely just order from a sticker shop just because it's kind of a pain to do all this. Um, if you don't have like a cricket or something, like by all means, just see if you can't get a custom white set <laughs> and not go through all this trouble. Like don't think you need to go through all this trouble. So the first is gonna be on Saturday. So let me go ahead and do that here. And I, the other thing that I do is I like my date dots to be square because then I can just, easily line them up with the corner and then I know they're always gonna be even. But that is assuming your Cricut is calibrated correctly and actually cuts them. Um, so mine are gonna kinda look a little wonky because they didn't all cut right. All the numbers are on there, it's just they're not centered in the square anymore. So that's another reason why, you know, when you get something from a sticker shop, it's gonna be pretty close to perfect. So um, yeah. Definitely would go the sticker shop route if I didn't already have all of the stuff to do this myself. 
And some people might be like, what is the point? Like, why are you spending all that time redating your entire planner at once? Well, I'm a Monday start person. Like Monday, everything is Monday start. And then all the weeks are always in Monday start. And so it's just, I wanna see it all in one line. Like it's important to me. And so I make the time for something that's important to me. And like a lot of other people like to decorate their planner. And so they cover all of this up with like a header and then they put all those colorful date dots on there. So like, it's the same concept. Like you're basically redating your planner anyway, if you're doing all that. And um, so to me, it's like the same thing. And I mean, it doesn't really take that long and it's just, it's fun for me. Cause it's, you know, it's playing with stickers in my planner, even if it doesn't, once it's on there, if it doesn't look any different because I'm not adding any design or color, um, you know, like that, that, wait, what happened? Oh no, I put the 11 over the 11. All right, let's not redate the whole thing wrong. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. And then what I end up having to do is I have to go back um, and white, all, white out all the holidays, which is fine for me too, because I also don't really care about all of the holidays. I don't need them written in my planner. Um, for like the big major holidays, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and like, um, for me, Halloween, just cause I like Halloween, like that usually gets noted on here because I'm decorating it. Um, but all of the other ones, I just, I don't know. I don't really care. We don't celebrate stuff like that. We're not, we're just not like into it. I guess you could say we acknowledge it and like, we will talk about certain like special days and we'll just be like, Oh, today is whatever day. And then we, talk about what that means or whatever. But then other than that, it's like, I don't need to take up space in my planner for something that doesn't change how my day goes, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, because my planner is like a tool that like helps me stay organized. If there's like a day uh, that doesn't actually change the way, like the course of my day, and what I need to do and where I need to be, then it doesn't need to be on my calendar, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm plugged in enough around like the rest of the internet and like, you know, I listen to the news every morning. Um, like I can, I know when there's things going on and I don't necessarily need it to be in my planner where I have very little space as it is, so. Um, let's not take up space in the planner for things that don't affect my day. So it's no disrespect for the cultures or groups of people that those days are important to. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It's just, this is like how I need to use my planner. And what's going to happen on July, because it has 31 days, is I'm going to actually put the 31st day on August because I'm redating it anyway. And that whole week is already there. And so here is how I deal with that. So what I'm going to do here is there's no space for the 31st. Like I'm not going to, I hate these little half days. And so I'm not going to keep the half day just for the 31st what's going to happen is I'm already going to be on the following week in the next month anyway. And so even though it's technically July and now all the days of July are not on July, that also doesn't really affect anything to me. Um, I know that to see July 31st, I just need to go to the August page. So that's just how that works for me and it's not a big deal whatsoever. And um, like, let me just go to August here. And so this is gonna end up being the first. And so the 31st is gonna be right here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually put that there now. 
and there, it's gonna be there. When I need to put something on, on July 31st, I will just go to August. And then the other thing that I would like to do that I don't have with me now, but I do like to actually put the, the days here as well. So like the end of June is gonna be right here and I need to put that in here, but I don't actually have the date dots for that. I only have like six months worth. So I'm going to print out another sheet and do that. Um, last, the last year or previously, the way I was doing that was I had a sheet of date dots from Planner Kate that were the color of the months and I would put them there like that. So, but I don't think, actually I do have those. Let me just do that. So I do have them for the rest of the month. Um, I don't have enough. Um, I used them. <laughs> so that's not gonna work because I need the 30th, 29th, 28th, 27th, and 26th because I used them in here, no wonder. Um, no, I wouldn't have used them in here. Oh, I did use them in here. Boo. Can I move those? Will they stick again? I don't know, they might work. Okay, let's just do that. Even though I would normally do this one, I'm planning July, I just kind of want to show you. So for the rest of the 2023 calendar year, I'm going to have that because I'm using up those stickers. Um, and then for January through July, I'll just put other white ones there, I think. Like, oops, I just dropped everything on the floor. Um, oh, and then this planner, actually, it's supposed to be July to June, I think, but it goes, they included July in here. So I actually have July 2024 in there. So it's a really a 13 month planner, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that was a mistake or if they always do that. I don't think they did that in this one because this one was a January to December. And so it was only 12 months. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's normal or not. This is really the first time I've bought like the academic year calendar. And since I have July open, let me move this stuff over and show you how I do this. So I always put a sticky note in the sidebar, like one of these long sticky notes so that I have a place to write things. And this is just something that is already a sticker stuck there that I just put there. Um, and then really all of my sticky notes just need to get transferred to the day they go on because this is how I pre-plan. So when I actually sit down to plan um, July, all of these recurring things, they'll get moved over to the August monthly and then they're ready for next month just so I can see without having to write on everything um, ahead of time I can see the things that always happen on a recurring basis and I'm gonna move all of them for like the whole year over but I'm just doing July's now to show you most of the year doesn't have this many. Most of the year, it's really just the upcoming month that has so many, and then I move them to the next month. Um, this is just something I need to remember, and then this moves every month. It's just the thing I try to do every month. So now you can see there's nothing on here. I'm not gonna move the moon phases. I had put those there because I wanted to see, like, to try to track that kind of stuff, but it just doesn't, it doesn't do, I'm not using it, so I'm not gonna move them. And I'm actually gonna try to move these over to not waste them. I don't know, um, I wasn't going to, I actually bought a new set to put on here, but I mean, if, if I'm moving stickers and they're actually staying stuck, then I'm, I might as well just do them, you know? Um, this one is not gonna, work well. I kind of messed this one up, I think. Well, we'll try it. I'm trying not to touch the adhesive with my fingers because that kind of, I've noticed that when I do that, then they don't stay stuck as good. So, 
If I just peel it up here with the spatula, um, then it tends to work better. This and this and my scissors that have like a fine point, these all came from a um, toolkit for my Cricut and I realized they work perfectly for planning. Those are linked in my Amazon storefront, um, which is linked in the description. And that I also have the off brand. So there's like the Cricut brand and then there's a brand, I haven't tried it personally yet, but there's another brand that looks exactly the same and it's like half the price. So I have those linked in there as well in case you're interested. But this is how I'm going to do the entire rest of the year that I'm gonna do off camera. So I wanted to show you that. And it looks like my battery is about to die. It's red and blinking at me. So I'm gonna charge my battery. I'm gonna work on the rest of the monthly things. And then when I come back, we'll do the year at a glance and the notes pages. And then that will be it for the setup. So be right back. I am back and I have redated the entire planner and I have moved over all of my sticky notes. So the whole planner is a Monday start now. I've moved over all of my week numbers, my sticky notes and the date dots, everything. Okay, so that is ready. And I mean, I don't think I need to flip through it all, but I guess that, that's what we're doing. So that is all done and ready to go. And now I am going to do the year at a glance. And when I was working on this, I realized that I wanted to do some, um, instead of highlighting on here. So last year I highlighted the spots where we had no school and I didn't like that. Something like no school doesn't change and so that was like safe to highlight but once it was on there I just, I just didn't like it. So um, I am going to use some washi tape and I brought up so much more stuff to use in this setup here. So um, I brought all my washi tape. So this is my washi tape. Um, it's just in an organizer from Amazon that snaps on the side and you can kind of take it off. And so there's three layers, but two of these layers fit in my desk drawer perfectly. So I'm only using two and that's enough for what I need to store in here. I'm gonna use this thin um, rainbow colored solid washi to highlight my dates here. This is a set, all of these came together in a set from Amazon and I can link that below as well. Um, so let's get all of the no school done first and I probably should have done that before I put this on here because now I'm gonna have to flip. Silly, silly, okay. Um, let's start with August and August is the first day of school. So even though what I have on here is no school, I'm really doing, it's no school for all of it except in August and May, it will be like the first day of school and the last day of school. So let me grab my date stickers. Where are they? I don't want those, I want the colorful ones. Here they are. I'm gonna use this blue color for my anything school related and the single days like the first day of school, which I believe is the ninth this year. Yes. So the first day of school is the ninth. Oh, you can't really see that. That's pretty dark. Mm, that's okay. Cause I'm only gonna do a few of them like that. And then the last day of school is May 24th, yes. So the last day of school I can't get these off of here very easily. May 24th. All right, now actually what if I do, okay, I'm changing my mind because this is kind of how I operate. I try stuff and then I change my mind. Um, what if I just do the first and last day of school with the, like, the metallic ones? And I will use gold on those. 
So how about that? I think I will like that better. First day of school. Um, I need to use, I need to remember to use the tweezers on this so I can see. All right. Okay. Now for the rest of it. A lot of our school holidays are more than one day. Like they have combined a lot of it to be um, like weeks off or four day weekends, which is really cool. Um, every month we either have a really long weekend or we have like a full week off. And um, I like that. And I know my kid likes that, so. I think in September, it's just gonna be Labor Day that they have off, yeah. So let's just do, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm changing my mind on the blue because it's so dark. I wanted to something less opaque. So let's change to like this teal color, I'm thinking. And let me see if I have a matching washi or I can, um, let's try these two and then maybe this like light green as well. That might work like that, but it's not quite the right color. So let's do, let's try this one. What do we think? No, that one's even more green. Okay. Let's ditch the green idea. Let's try this. And maybe with this one, I think that's perfect. So uh, there's that one, or there's this lighter blue. Which kind of matches that one. Let's do that. I'm going to do that. All right. So now we're going to do these ones. And let me do. So September the 4th is Labor Day. I wish these were Monday start. Um, like I've said a million times, I prefer a Monday start, but I wasn't gonna redo this whole page too, you know? We're just gonna have to deal with the Sunday start on that. And then October is the 9th through the 13th, and that's where I'm gonna use this washi. It's like the perfect size um, for this. And then if we decide to like travel on those weeks, then I can easily put like, my other stickers on top of it and it won't get like lost in there. So October and November, we have the 7th and then we have the 20th through the 24th off and that's gonna be like the Thanksgiving break. Um, and that one's not super straight, so let's fix that. And I think what I'm gonna do is to save you the time, I'm gonna go through and put all this on there and then I'll explain it at the end maybe and I'll just fast forward through this because I still have to do notes pages, there's a lot. Okay, so now I have my year at a glance and it's super simple. Obviously it's just school and the days that we don't have trash pickup, um, just so that I know that I don't need to get the trash out on those days. And then I have all of the school holidays marked for this year and then there'll be some for 
you know, this year when that calendar comes out. And there is that. And I was gonna put celebrations on here um, and travel, but I have decided to leave the celebrations off um, just because I just don't, I don't know. I'm just not sure yet. I, I have another place I think I wanna put those. And so I'm not gonna do the celebrations and I'm also not gonna put travel on here just because um, we don't have anything planned ahead of time. If um, I do plan something out, in the future, I might put it on here or I might end up just putting it in my month. So I think that's that's good enough for now. All right, and then we have the 12 boxes page. So I'm still not 100% certain how I wanna use these pages. I was using them for goals before, but I just didn't, it didn't really do anything for me. I never ended up checking it. And so I wanted to not just do the same thing because it wasn't working. Even if it means I leave it a little bit blank for now, then that's what I'm gonna do. But maybe as I'm making my notes pages, I might kind of come up with a reason to use them, to use it. And then um, this same thing here. I think I actually wanna do like a morning routine and PM routine kind of thing here. Either that or I wanna do like my planning routine, like cheat sheet. I think that would work really well in for my planning routine cheat sheet. How about that? That's what I'll do here. Um, but let's come back to that. I might actually do that in a separate video because I kind of want, really don't wanna talk about like actual planning routines when I make that. Um, so let's go then here. I have decided I wanted to do something interesting with this page. And so this is gonna be like my home kind of thing. So I'm gonna have that tracker here for home tasks that need to happen every month. Maybe not necessarily every month, but things that happen more than like once or twice a year, like such as like, you know, filters and stuff like that. So I think that will go here. And then this is where I wanna kind of put a monthly breakdown of the home tasks I wanna focus on each month. And I already have that written out somewhere. Um, I just kind of wrote out for my family like what makes sense to do each month. And I don't know how I wanna do that. What if I get the same like notes page, this notepad here, and get like a clean, fresh sheet. Or I can use an A5 piece of notebook paper. Here we go. This is what we're gonna do. This is like real time planning, okay? I'm gonna rip out, this is just an A5 notes page. I'm gonna rip that out and then I'm gonna trim off the coiled part. So now I have this sheet of paper that should fit perfectly right here. And then we can still see some of that beautiful Inspire design in the background. You know what would be great here is if we used those like A5 here, I have one sitting here, like those A5 daily duo boxes. I wonder if you could fit, you could fit six on this page and if you didn't put in this page like I did, you could put another six on this page and you can get the ones from Planner Kate that match the Erin Condren colorway. And then you could use that as like a monthly cleaning checklist or something. Um, but I'm not doing that, so <laughs> we're gonna just do it this way. All right, so here is what I'm gonna do. I have my A5 sheet of notebook paper that I have cut the coil part off and this is a perfect opportunity to use some of these planner cape stickers in the Erin Condren monthly colorway and I'm actually going to start with July since my planner starts in July so let's do that and then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to let's um, actually measure out something here so um I need this and I need a micron. And I'm going to divide this into, we've got 28 lines, but I have 12 months. I want two columns. 
So I'm gonna have six months on each side. And so if I have six, what is divisible? We need what, 24 lines? I'm gonna skip two lines at the top and draw this line. And then I'm gonna skip two lines at the bottom and draw that line. just to make it like centered on the page. Okay, and then I'm going to connect these here. And on an A5 notebook paper, the lines are five inches. And so I'm just going to divide it two and a half inches at two and a half inches. Let me draw. Okay, and so um, we have a dot here for two and a half and a dot here for two and a half. So let's connect it that way too. And then we gotta connect across. So we gotta divide it by four lines across and then, then we'll have 12 boxes. So I'm making my own little 12 box page here. And this is really just going to be a division of, of the monthly home tasks that I might want to work on. Basically each month pick, I picked some things, some rooms in my house or some house type projects that make sense for me to do in that particular month and um, I want to put them here and then that way I can check them off and just remember to put them on like my monthly dashboard or whatever I'm doing that month. I'm thinking that's kind of where I'm going with this. So you could do this totally on any notes page in your planner, like in the back of the planner or wherever you have a blank notes page. I'm only doing it on this A5 sheet because I wanna tape it in onto that page in the front of my planner. Um, just because I think it makes sense to put it there. So now I have my stickers here and I think I'm gonna just put them, I'm just gonna line them up here, I, yeah. I'm just gonna line them up in the top left corner. And then each month I have like two things to focus on, so that's perfect. So I think I'm gonna use, I really like these little planner Kate like flags, but I think they're too big. No, they're not too big. Okay, let's do that. Let me put, two on each thing here. Either that or I could just use the dots. Um, but I never really get around to using these flags, so. No, you know what, I am gonna use the dots because I can use the dots as like a checkbox and just check them off, whereas I think it would look weird if I did that with the flags, so. Let's use the dots, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, for every month, I'm gonna put the two dots down on the page, and then that fits better in those, between those lines anyway. And I'm gonna do that with every monthly color for the whole year, and I'm actually gonna do like, all of the July through December here and then January through June over here. So, and then I'm gonna, I'm also gonna speed that up. All right, so I have my list here. And then actually I'm also gonna go here and do like, I have some stickers that say things like cleaning and stuff. And let's use some washi at the top. And I'm gonna use this Planner Kate washi in the mid-century circles design. And it also has, um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this to tape it to the page. So let me just save that and then we'll just do, um, I'm thinking I wanna use this Planner Kate. I've got this one that says time to clean, one that says cleaning, and then one that just says to clean. And I don't know. I like, let's just use this one that says too clean, just cause it's big. 
and we can put it on, do I have, how about one of these? Okay, and just, you know, just for some interest, um, that's too big. It's bigger than I wanted it to be. Let's put this on, gosh, this is silly. Okay, let's put this on after we tape it to the page so I can layer it over the washi, I think. Yeah? Okay. Let's, um, let me write on here what I want to clean. So in July, I wanna do my closet and my son's closet. That was actually a June goal and I didn't get to it but it makes sense to do it in my family before August because August is when school starts. And so I definitely want my son's closet cleaned out and like any new clothes for school and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put um, my closet and then his closet. Okay, and then August is going to be like I call it our sunroom. It's just like our breakfast area. It's all windows on one side. And so like, that's why we call it the sunroom. It's not like a legitimate sunroom, um, but that's where we like come in and out of the house. And that's like where our landing pad, our command center, like that place, I really want that organized and ready to go for the beginning of the school year. So um, a deep clean of, oh, I messed up. When I talk and write at the same time, I spell things wrong. Um, I should use the whiteout here. This is gonna be something I look at all year long. And maybe I need to not talk about this while I am doing it so that it can look nice. Sun room, and then just a good deep clean of the car as well. And I'm gonna fill out the rest of this. And um, if you have questions about it, then ask me in the comments. All right, so there are the rooms and whatever around my house that makes sense for my family. And I am going to put that on this page. Where did I say I wanted to do that? Here, okay. So this is gonna go here. And um, actually I could chop some of this off as well. So remember that half page annual tracker the one like this, but I'm gonna buy the other one with a different design, and that's gonna go there, and that will be like recurring monthly and semi, you know, annually type tasks for the house. Um, I've got some other home related sticky notes down here, and then this is gonna be each month some home projects that I can focus on. And so, what if I tape this in just like this? and just kind of tear it so it's like organic or whatever, like that. And then I can put this here, just kind of centered like that. And then I'll tape it at the bottom as well. Let me make sure it's flat. And then I can still see that beautiful Inspire design um, back there, but now it's a functional page that is right where I need it. Um, so remember, this is something that I popped in here. So you probably won't have this unless you wanna do this with an old planner or just use one of those snap-in dashboards or something. So that's something I popped in there. When I'm on this page, the school calendar is showing, but I don't know exactly what I wanna do there yet. I'm thinking I wanna make a similar thing to this and put it here where I can write in anything that comes up for forward planning for the school year, but I don't know yet. I'm kind of just gonna wait for the school year to start to see what kind of information I might need to put there. So I thought about, in case that's helpful for you, I thought about putting like my son's teacher's contact information and stuff here, but since this is always on camera for you on YouTube, I'm not gonna do that. In mine, I keep that in like a folded piece of paper in the back. So anyway. 
that is how I did that page. And then, you know, this will go there whenever I get the one that I want to use. And then um, we have the year at a glance and this I still don't know what I want to do with. This is going to be my planning routines, which will be in another video. And now we're going to go to the back to our notes page. Um, I think we're gonna have to do a part two because my battery is already dead again. And um, that means this video is gonna be way too long and I need to get it edited and uploaded and all that. And this is a huge mess here. And I'm just, I need to take a break and this, we're just gonna have to have a part two. So if you're still here with me, thank you so much for watching and being a part of my functional planner community. As a reminder, I'm gonna link any products from this video in the description and and I am an Erin Condren and a Planner Kate affiliate. So if you make a purchase through those links, I do get a commission, but there will be a Planner Kate coupon down there for you. Thank you so much for helping me support my family in that way. It really means so much. So um, yeah, so if you're still here, please hit the thumbs up button. And if uh, you really liked the video, please consider subscribing because I have new videos like this three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one, especially part two of this one where I finish up these notes pages. So until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.